Hi, I'm Jamie, and welcome to this tutorial of how to integrate WordPress with the W3 Total Cache plugin and CDNFI. Now, before we start, you should already have a resource set up. As you can see here, I've already gone ahead and set up demo123.a.cnfi.io. And it should be already mirroring our domain, demo123.org. So we'll quickly test that out. As you can see, demo123.a.cdnfi.io and our content's being pulled, well, being mirrored from the CDN. Now, we'll head back to our domain. And now, although our resource is set up, our assets aren't being pulled from our domain, from the CDN. For example, the asset here is being pulled from the origin. So demo123.org forward slash etc that is coming straight from the origin. And now what we're going to do is we're going to change it so that this asset is being pulled direct from, directly from the CDM to speed things up. So the first thing that we're going to do is log into WordPress. Now we're going to install W3 Total Cache. Now we'll activate the plugin. And we'll head on over to the CDN configuration options by going to performance, CDN. And we go down to the configuration setting, we should input our resource. In this case, it's demo123.a.cnfi.io. In your case, it could be um, whatever you've named your resource, kittens.a.cnfi.io. It doesn't really matter. Um, so what we'll do is we'll test the mirror just to make sure it's working, which it is. We'll save the settings. Okay. Now we're going to head back to our domain, demo123.org. Now everything looks the same, but let's inspect our image to see it's being pulled from the CDN. And if you look in the URL, it's actually being pulled from the CDN, demo123.a.cdnfi.io. And if you want a closer inspection, view the page source. As you can see, our CSS is also being used through the W3 Total Cache plugin. So it's that simple. Thanks for watching.